this is skill number four, bedpan and output. The supplies that you're gonna need for this should be in your bedside stand. You will need a roll of toilet paper, a bedpan, if there isn't a pad already on the bed. The bed pan is not allowed to be placed on the overbed table or the bedside stand. So when I get it out, I will put it either on the end of the bed or on the bathroom counter. And they, we consider this the bathroom. You will need a graduate pitcher. put an undisclosed amount in there, fill it up, or, you know, you fill it up to a certain point, but don't let me see what it is. All right. Okay. And then we will need a washcloth and towel, but I'm not finding it. Can someone go get me a washcloth and towel from the green cart in the accordion door? I'll need a washcloth and a towel. All right, those two things she will need. This is a skill where you have to measure how much urine they put into the bedpan. Obviously, during this skill, you're not gonna be able to have that happen. So the state evaluator will put some water in this graduate pitcher and pour it into the bedpan at the given time. So you can just hang on till I get that ready, okay? And then you will need a pair of gloves. privacy and wash my hands first. And then I'm going to put this side rail up over here. to roll over. You will have the resident roll over on their side or if they can lift their hips for you, that's great too. Normally the bed should have a pad in it. If they don't, you would put one down. And then you will fit the bed pan. This looks like a toilet seat. So their rectum will go here and this will go more towards the front where the urethra is. So it should fit against the bottom like this. And then when they go to roll over on it, you need to push down on it so it doesn't pop out. So if you could go ahead and roll back towards me now. Oh yeah. Okay, now I just had her roll onto it. This is not easy to do when you're lying down. You urinate better when you're sitting up. So I'm gonna cover her and I'm going to raise her head. And I'm going to give her the toilet paper and the call light so that way she can call me when she's done. Since the bed is at its lowest level, I don't need to put the other side rail up. And I'm going to step out while she uses the restroom. And usually what we do is we step on the other side of the curtain. When she puts her call light on, we know she's done. Oh, oh I hear the call light. Okay, let me go ahead and take that. You're all done? All right, 
I can take the toilet paper here, move it out of the way, and I need to put the head back down. To try and get the bedpan out right now, all of her weight is centered on that bedpan and it would be hard to get out. So I'm going to lower the bed, the head of the bed, and then I'm going to ask her again if she could roll onto her right side, but wait till I'm ready, because if they roll, and you're not ready, that bedpan will shoot right out at you. So then you grab this, grab this out of the way, go ahead and roll back on your back, and let me cover you up, and I'll get rid of this, I'll be right back. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and set this down, and this will be put into the biohazard. Let me put that in the biohazard. All right. And then you're gonna bring this over and have them pour the water in there. Then you're gonna go back to the bathroom and you're gonna pour the urine from the bedpan into the graduate pitcher. And you will read it with it sitting level and you have to look at eye level. Now, I think it's at 300 milliliters. I'm gonna have you pass it around so you can all see that. While she's doing that, I'm going to clean this bedpan. You rinse it out and you'll dry it. And this will get put back in the bedside stand. And then I'm going to get rid of the urine. As soon as that goes around, I'll get rid of the urine. to this is also supposed to be the toilet we're going to flush the urine down I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to dry it and put it away since I have touched body fluids with these gloves I am going to need to I am going to need to change my gloves it doesn't say that on your paper, but I am adding this because you should change the gloves out. Okay, and get a new pair of gloves because you're gonna have to help your resident wash and dry their hands in case they would have gotten anything on them. So I'm gonna get this wet. And then I'm going to help my resident to wash and dry their hands. take these and put these in the dirty laundry. Oh my gosh, sorry. Okay. Then at this point, I am going to take off my gloves, put them in the biohazard. I'm going to see if she needs anything else. Do you need anything? I'm going to give her her call light. I'm going to come over here and put the side rail down can't leave them up because it's a restraint. I'm going to take privacy away and then at the end of this I'm going to write down and there'll be a little piece of paper. I will write my name on the top. I will write down 300 milliliters for the urine output and then I will sign the bottom of that form. Make sure you do that for state testing. 
then in this one, this is one where you actually have to do the hand washing, okay? So I'm going to grab a paper towel and I'm gonna turn on the faucet. And if you are right-handed, you want to put the trash can on your right. If you're left-handed, put it on your left. So I'm going to put it here on my right. I'm going to get my hands wet. Wrist, hands, everything. Then I'm going to put a couple of squirts of the soap on so I can get a nice lather. And I'm going to start in a circular motion, doing the palms, the backs of my hands, I'm going to do in between the fingers, the wrist, the fingernails. This should take 15 to 20 seconds. And your hands should not be underneath the water when you're doing this. Fingertips pointed down. Once I'm done, I'm going to rinse my hands. Again, keeping fingertips down. I'm going to grab some paper towels to dry. At any time, if I were to touch the sink with my hands or touch anything, I would be recontaminating. So I don't want to do that. That is your bold step. Again, I'm going to dry, leaving the water running. All right, then you are going to take a paper towel. You want to do it with your dominant hand and shut off the water and then throw it away. You don't want to use your non-dominant hand to turn it off because then you're going to want to put the paper towel in that dominant hand to throw it away. Okay, so I've gotten rid of that. And that is the manual hand washing. There are five skills that you 